Well, you guys got another video here for you. Every Windows 11 user needs this tool that I'm going to show you right here. It's a new release and I wanted to go through and show you how you can use this tool to actually to debloat Windows 11 and make Windows 11 a more usable operating system. So it's called Tidy OS and it's a new release from the same creator that has created many different other tools that are very, very useful for Windows 11 users. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this and extract it and we're going to run it onto a new system and I'll show you exactly what it does. It's a pretty decent little tool and uh, hopefully we can touch on this again in the future because this is a pretty new release and I think it's going to be constantly updated by the creator. So let's go ahead and go to latest here and this will take us to the latest section and then we can download the tidy OS zip file right here. And you can read all the information about this tool in the video description. So from here, what we're going to do is going to go to the file explorer here and go to our download section and we're going to extract our tidy OS uh, file. So let's go ahead and do that. Right click on it and extract all. And there we go. There's the actual files. So let me make the uh, files a bit bigger so you can see them and we can have a look at what it actually does. So there is the actual uh, script itself because that's what it's going to be doing on the back end it does have a nice GUI interface so inside the plugins area here you can see it says app installer there's a Chris Titus app and there's also some other stuff in here like create restore points and loads of other stuff that you're going to be using when you're using this particular tool so these are all just like little script files that are all listed in the plugin section and we're going to be going through the tidyOS GUI interface here to make this a lot easier to remove all of this stuff. So you should see Windows protected your PC. We're going to run it anyway. And this is exactly what we're looking at right here. The tidyOS front end app. So from here, you can see it's broken down into little sections. So from here, we've got all of the add section right here. There's tons of them here. If you want to go through this manually and check these one at a time, you can do. I did find clicking on these were a little bit finicky because every time you click on them, it sometimes removes them and puts them back in. So you just have to double click on it once and then it should put the check mark in the box. So when I was clicking on the check mark, sometimes it would remove it just like that. And I would have to keep clicking on it again to get it to check mark. But there is an activate all right here and it will check mark all these in one go. So you can then just go through the list here and uncheck the ones that you want to keep rather than going through one at a time. That's just my method of doing it. So you can see turn off all telemetry data collection right here. That hasn't been check marked. If you want to check mark it, you could just go in and check mark this yourself just by just highlighting it and check marking it like that. You can see what I mean there. It put the check mark in and it removed it. So I just had to go back and do it like so. So we're going to check mark this one and take a look at what's further down on the list here. And you can see right here, there's quite a few different ones you can uh, check mark. So enable uh, verbose logon status messages. If you want to enable that, you can do. I think it's normally used for troubleshooting when you're booting up. It will normally freeze on a certain area and it will tell you exactly what is frozen during the boot up process. But people like to enable that feature for some reason. You've got show blue screen of death details instead of the sad smiley. If you want to check mark that, you can do. Don't show copilot in taskbar. And we've got don't allow windows to save snapshots on your screen. And we definitely want to do that as well. So we're going to check mark that just for now. And again, that is really, really annoying when you click on it and it keeps removing it. I think it's either a double click or a single click. I'm not too sure. But again, you can see it going on and off there. But Disable game DVR and we also got disable uh, power throttling if you want to disable that you can do and there's also other ones there like disable uh, the visual effects as well some people like to do that as well again you can check mark which ones you want and remove some of the check marks that you want to keep moving on to the next section right here when you click on these it will give you a list of stuff you can see disable activity history disable location tracking disable privacy and security experience sign in and also the turn off telemetry data collection as well let's move on to the personalization area and again inside the personalization area there's a few inside here which you can actually check mark if you want to you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here and let's move on to the next tab which is the system tab 
again when you click on this it will take you to the system tab it's just telling you enable verbose logon status menu right here and this one right here is the ai section don't show copilot in taskbar don't allow windows to save snapshots of your screen and don't allow system wide snapshots again this is all going to be to do with recall uh, if you don't want that sort of stuff then turn it all off and that's pretty much it so let's move on down to the debloating section right here on the debloating section you're going to have ones like microsoft bing weather get help microsoft office hub microsoft solitaire collection sticky notes and to do's and all that sort of stuff so you can select all of these to remove all of this from the computer if you want to or you can go through singly and do them yourself it's entirely up to you so this is going to do your phone zoom music and also windows feedback hub windows camera and all that sort of stuff so you would just check mark what you want to remove and then just click on the remove selection and then you can click yes here and it will then go and uninstall all of that junk and bloatware from your pc you can see the list right here click ok and that's now done so we can now move on to the next section right here and that's called scripting and inside scripting you can do software installation to install winget apps like chrome firefox and so on if you want to do that you can do and you've got your tweaks here as well clear icon cache hide hidden file extensions enable snap assistant fly out uh, use light theme if you want to do that you'd leave that check marked if you want the dark theme then obviously remove that and you would get the dark theme you can also see the security plugins enable user account control uac if you don't want that you can turn it off i'll advise leaving the uac on for better protection system plugins will be the windows old remover and the rollback timer as well and then you've got other plugins like chris titus app and also create restore point remove default apps and remove windows ai you can see these scripts are right here we've done some of this stuff already but you can check mark these and run this and it will go through the motions and remove all of that stuff for you and again the chris titus app will just download his app through this program and basically you can run that on the system afterwards if you have some features on Chris Titus's app that you want to use. So you could do it all through this particular uh, TidyOS app. Once you've got your selection, you can click on next and then you can click run and this will run all of your selected options that you've just done inside TidyOS. You might see a black screen and then you might see some prompt boxes popping up if you've done certain other selections on there like Chris Titus Text Tool or uninstall OneDrive and all that sort of stuff. It will work in the background and it will populate on the screen in front of you. If it needs administrative privileges, it will ask you and tell you and it will normally run those anyway. And if you've selected a Chris Titus Text Tool from in this particular type of app, what it's going to do is go to Chris Titus Text Site and download the actual app and open it up on your screen you might see prompts like this one right here and a black screen will pop up that's because I've done Chris Titus text tool on this app and it should open up and populate Chris's tool and you can run through some of the settings on there if you want to I'm not going to go ahead and do it in this video because I've shown you this before but I might do an updated video on this because he has done quite a bit of work on it and that's it once you restart your computer it will then go and do all of your settings which you've just done inside the TidyOS app, which is pretty useful if you're looking for something that is simple and easy to use and you're not familiar with all this stuff. You just check mark it all, run the required scripts that are on the app and then restart the PC and it will do all that for you. So I did notice widgets was uh, turned on there. So I'm just gonna turn it off and I did pin these on a previous video. So don't worry about that. They won't be there when you run yours. And it should look something like this, which is nice and clean. And again, I did pin some apps inside here. So you're going to probably see some stuff in here that won't be on yours when you run it. Again, if you want to make changes to your personalization section, you can go in here and do all of that as well. Or you can run Chris Titus Text Tool and do a lot of this stuff via his tool because his tool does have quite a few options available inside there if you're looking for the complete D bloat package. Anyway, that is TidyOS, pretty nice. I'm just going to go ahead and remove a couple of little bits that are left behind here, and we should be pretty much good to go. Remember, these sort of apps are always getting updated, so always check back and make sure you've got the latest version because obviously this is a pretty new app, 
and I'm pretty sure it will be updated as and when he sees new features that he wants to add to it or new things that he wants to add. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. That's going to be how you can use tidyOS on Windows 11. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate it. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on our new Discord server. The link is in the video description. See you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.